Hello, hello, you guys. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so Merry Early Christmas to me. Um, <laughs> so I was just literally prepping my table to show you guys the holiday haul, okay? To show you guys what I got from the holiday collection. Um, and I'm like, I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna see. And I clicked it and it's like, Santa has come to town. No kidding. <laughs> so I'm back. I'm back to live. I'm so excited because you guys, you guys recording those videos, okay? Not that it's bad. It's, it's essentially the same thing that I'm doing live but waiting for crap to download and then upload to my computer and then upload it to Facebook, like, no thank you. It's so much more work, but yes! Um, <laughs> so I am here today with my new cranberry ginger ale because I went to Sam's Club yesterday with Snuggle Buns and we went to go get her cupcakes from her class and everything for her birthday. Um, I did, you guys, post the video to my personal page obviously of her birthday so her unveiling the marvel warmer is in there please feel free to go check it out because she was so stinking cute and i may just repost the video here to our group a little bit later but like i have a limited window before it's it's time to go get the kids and truthfully i'm freaking tired i'm so tired um i did old october stroll obviously my three-day event over the weekend and then Got right. I, thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, did old October stroll. Then we had to get ready for Lena's birthday. Then her birthday was yesterday. We went to my sister's house and today I came home and I took a dang nap. Okay. I am run over. I am exhausted, but this excitement and this adrenaline rush of no longer being in jail <laughs> is definitely a, is a wake me up. But yesterday at Sam's club, I found a little, like, I mean, it's not little, it's the mini cans of all of the holiday limited edition ginger ales. And I was like, oh, cranberry ginger ale is back. Blackberry ginger ale. I can't remember the other one. I don't know. So I got it. And it's delicious, you guys. I am here for all the cranberry things. So, all right, let's dive into my holiday haul, okay? Um, I'm going to show you what, you know what? Actually, no. I'm, I'm gonna start backwards today. Instead of starting with what I've already got that is available, I am going to start with what is coming on Monday because I personally need its partner uh, for sure. Okay, so I, you guys know that James and I have, have been using Sensi for a decade, right? He's the one who brought the first warmer into our home, um, started me down the rabbit hole. But I have an, an authentic Scentsy warmer that's probably, I would say this one, eight, nine years old. Or, well, seven, seven, somewhere seven to nine. I don't know. I'd have to look up its release date. But Scentsy is bringing back, and I'm actually really excited for this, and you'll see, like, I didn't pick up any of the Christmas warmers. Um, just one. One mini. Because we are getting some returning favorites. One of which happens to be in my personal collection. And you can tell how old it is by the original Scentsy logo on there. Like, look how old this logo is on this warmer. So I went and got it out of my closet because I wanted to show you guys it lit up because it's so pretty. Like, I put it out every Christmas. I always have. Um, and let me, let me get my notes in front of me. Look, I grabbed my iPad today. Be proud. Um, because I wanted to tell you about the warmer. Because I don't even know the name of it. I'm just like, it's pretty. Um, but this is, this is going to be called our Holiday Favorites Collection. There is another one that is coming in this collection that I absolutely have to have. I'll show you guys the photos. Um, because I know James would have had to absolutely have it. So I'm getting it, obviously. Hi, Trish. Hi, Casey. Um, okay, so the, the this is the Holiday Lights Warmer. And I'll put, I'll put my dish back on. I just wanted to show you guys how old this sucker is because it's so cool. Um, and it still works, although I probably should have checked my bulb because it's been sitting in my closet since last Christmas before we plug it in. So this is the Holiday Lights Warmer. And let's flip it here. Okay, we're good. This is our holiday light warmer. Okay, this guy is coming out of the vault. They are 
it's coming on Monday and I'm so freaking excited. That and our Bring Back My Buddies. Okay, I voted hardcore for Boris the Yeti. I need me a Boris. Um, it's a joke in my family, so like everybody's getting Boris. So if you are in my family and you're watching, I'm sorry, I'm spoiling your surprise, but everybody's getting a dang Boris. So, <laughs> but I think you all know. I think the minute you saw it, you'd be like, oh, I know what's coming in my mailbox, <laughs> right? So, so anyways, this is our holiday lights warmer. This is literally one of my favorite Christmas warmers of all time. And it's just like, I love the lights on it. I love the dish on it, like the finish. Um, and, and again, it's one of our older warmers, but wait till you see it lit up. Tell me this isn't the most wicked Christmas warmer you've ever seen. Okay. I love this, love this warmer. And I wonder, I'm going to take my dish off here for a second so I can tip it. You got the original, you got the Scentsy logo stamped in the back. I wonder if they're going to recreate like literally piece for piece this warmer or if it's going to have like the updated logo since they're remaking them brand new. But like I have, I love this. I love this. This is the perfect Christmas warmer. I leave it out, like I leave it out until literally like all my winter stuff comes down because I never get bored with the rainbow lights. I like color. I like color a lot. So, okay, that Holiday Lights Warmer is coming out, and I will do a pre-order form for you guys. I, uh, truthfully, I will start putting it together this evening, because you know me, it takes me a minute to get things together, because I'm super OCD, and I like things a certain way. Um, so, I will post that for you guys this evening here in our community, because um, you all get first dibs on pre-orders, and then I will shoot out the text tomorrow, with all of the, you know, obviously all of the stuff. So the other warmers that are coming are, and I'm gonna give you the names and then they're pretty self-explanatory. The Cardinal Warmer, the Holiday Lights Mini. I need the mini. Um, <laughs> the Holiday Lights Warmer that I just showed you, the Red Retro Truck, um, and the Special Delivery Warmer Lid. So if you have one of our trucks, okay, this lid will fit with your truck. So this is the retro truck and it carries a Christmas tree. I don't have any of our trucks. I kind of wish that I would have snapped up one of the black trucks and one of the sales that we had now so that I only <laughs> needed to get the lid. But like James would have died for this thing. And actually with it being red, it matches his grill. Um, it's kind of a thing. I don't know if we'll put the smoker back out. I took that down for summer, but. I can leave the truck out all year long and just take the Christmas tree off. So uh, this will get a whole heck of a lot of use in my house, especially once I get my hutch that I found at Old October Stroll in. It's going to kind of be his special place in my house. So um, not that every corner isn't special, like I haven't moved any of his stuff, right? So <sighs> the Cardinal Warmer is pretty self-explanatory. I... It's not my gig, but you know, it's okay. It saves me, <laughs> it saves me some cash because I want enough of our stuff. But clearly he is an extremely, extremely popular guy because he did get voted back for the holiday favorites. He's one of the number one requested warmers. Um, and then the holiday lights, baby. <laughs> I have to have that. Whenever we have a set, Okay, whenever we have a matching set, I have to have the big guy and I have to have the little guy. So uh, I have been hoarding reward credits, um, <laughs> knowing that some of these things were eventually coming, not knowing when, not knowing how much, just like sit on my party rewards because I need all the things. I need all the things. So those guys are coming out. I will flip flop here really quick and show you guys a quick photo of the buddies that are returning. So we are getting three returning buddies. Um, and like I said, Boris is one that I voted and voted and voted and voted for. Um, not just in this round, but in prior being my buddy rounds, right? Like Boris was my vote. <laughs> and I'm excited he finally made it. Um, where's the news? There's news. Uh, view all news. Okay. So the three buddies that are coming back are Boris the Yeti, Clover the Cow, and Calypso the Unicorn. And I don't like this picture that they have with all the balloons. Let me get a better picture. I know we have it. Let's go to the, the tab with actual.
photos of just the buddies and not the children. Oh, seriously? Are you going to be a butt? Of course it is. Alright, let me see. Let me see. Let me find a better picture of these guys. <laughs> Where are you? I know somebody put it up earlier where it was just the three buddies, and I don't know why I'm losing my mind, but I guess I am. Okay, I will, we'll go with in the interest of time because I have literally 40 minutes before I have to leave to go fetch the tiny monsters, um, and my free time is over. Uh, <laughs> so these are the three returning buddies. Okay, so we've got Clover the Cow over here. I think they're pretty self-explanatory who they are. Boris the Yeti! His little hood comes off and he's got little ears and he's got like a little tuft of hair on there. Um, but Yetis are huge. Like I said, they are a family joke. And then of course, of course, Nuggy in her corn collection, she doesn't have Calypso. So she, no surprise, Calypso will be going um, under her tree for Christmas this year uh, to continue our unicorn bunny collection. So after that, the only one she'll be missing is the blue one who I think is named... Vega? I don't know. We've got purple. We've got white. We're getting pink. There's a blue one. Don't know what its name is, but that will be my next votes. Okay? So, and then of course our brick collection is coming. Our brick collection is also coming on Monday. Uh, we have Icicles and Evergreen. <sighs> okay, so I got, all right, so Wednesday nights, right, we have a team meeting. Right, we all, it's, it's just a Zoom thing and we kind of like, we sit at our tables and we discuss what we're working on and we just kind of hang out and we giggle and um, we talk about what we're excited about, what we're not excited about. And I got railroaded last night, you guys, about my dislike of icicles and evergreen. So I'm like, it smells like soap. I'm sorry, it does. But I had several people <laughs> jump my case and be like, shh, shh, don't you dare insult my beautiful icicles and evergreen. Because everybody's nose is different, right? So when I tell you Icicle and Evergreen is nasty, don't take my word for it. Um, try this bad boy out for yourself because apparently I am in the minority and I will be moving on. Okay? Uh, caramel Chestnut. Caramel Chestnut. This is really, really super good. I've already done first sniffs. Um, you can see that I've already been working on some samples for you guys. And... <laughs> This last week ate me alive, so samples will be forthcoming, but I'm going to give you a disclaimer that if one is on your wish list, you better jump on it right away because the hype and it is not overdone on that particular break, and it's going to go, I promise. A couple of them to my house, let me tell you. <laughs> so anyways, this Carol Chestnut, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it is a really, um, like if you do, if you like a little hint of bakery, and you like a little hint of smoky, because I get like that smoky nuttiness um, out of this, but you don't like things that are super cloyingly sweet, this is a fantastic, it's so good. It's good, it's strong, it's a good performer. If you are a bakery fan, I highly recommend it. If you are a woodsy fan or like you like those smoky fiery scents, caramel chestnut's really good. <sighs> Winter's Eve. Club worthy. Totally club worthy. This, this you guys, this is my hero with a hint of pine. You guys know what my hero smells like, okay? It is this beautiful white wood, like natural white wood, slightly cologne-y. <sighs> with a hint of pine in the background. Club, club all year long. This is something I would melt all year long. This will be going into monthly uh, because yeah, I could put it in my house everywhere, every day, all the time. Frosted petals. My floral lovers, this is your heaven. Um, upon warming it, it's not for me. Like, on cold sniff, it's not quite, like on cold sniff, I'm like, okay, I can maybe get behind this. It's not my favorite, it's not the worst. It's, it's really powdery, it's really floral, it's really sweet. So, um, like Tanya, you love floral. You love floral. This this bad boy is probably up your alley. I I can't get behind it. My mom will enjoy it very much because she loves florals like crazy, right? Like she'll come in and she'll sniff a bar and be like, oh my God, this is wonderful. You can smell the flowers. I'm like, take it home with you because <laughs> it'll rot in my bucket. Um, so she'll be getting pricked. 
I'll just make it the rest of the brick once I'm done making all my samples for it. But, 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 but. Maraschino sugar cookie. This is coming home. I, I am going to hoard these bricks. Um, this is definitely going into monthly club, you guys. This is so stinking good. I cannot rave about this enough. Um, cherry can be so super sweet. Cherry can also smell like medicine because they make a lot of like cough medicines and kids medicines. And believe me, I've smelled a lot of it with cherry. Mm -mm, that sugar cookie note. Oh, it smells so good. When I was making the samples too. Okay, this is a super strong performer. Um, I had them going in the kitchen and I was making the samples and my whole house smelled like maraschino sugar cookie. Even all the way up the stairs, I was like, oh, bring it on. And it was just, it was just from using the candy melter in the kitchen. And my house smelled like this. I need at least two bricks, maybe four, plus my club. <laughs> Get your hands on this, you guys. Like, seriously, these will be on pre-order. You want to pre-order this bad boy because maraschino sugar cookie is going to fly off of our shelves. <laughs> because <laughs> it's so good. It is so good. All right. So those are the things that are coming on Monday. And now let's dive into the things that you can actually get your hands on now. Um, so if there's, if, if you're putting in a pre-order with me and you see anything that I reveal that you are in love with, please make sure you put it in that comment section down below on your form and I can add it to my order, save you guys on shipping, do it all at once, call it a good day, right? <clears throat> cranberry ginger ale. I need them to come back out with that cranberry, it was either cranberry 7-Up or cranberry Sierra Mist. I can't remember, I gotta ask Yab. Um, but her and I were like super, super gaga for it. I do like the cranberry ginger ale, but I want to say it was like cranberry Sierra mist and it was, oh, that one's even better, even better. I love all cranberry. Cranberry is delicious. Uh, let me put this guy down there cause I don't want to knock him off. All right. Should we just get into new scents? We've already been sniffing some wax. Let's let's just dive right in. Let's dive right into the three brand new holiday bars. I should get my iPad back out and, and actually have scent notes, you guys. And it's it's sort of charged. It was at 35% when I located it. So that's pretty good for me. <laughs> it is. It is pretty good for me because I am notoriously horrible at uh, using my iPad, charging my iPad. Like I am... I'm so old, okay? And I know that you're gonna be like, you're not old, but I am, I'm totally old school, right? Like, I remember the floppy disks in the computer and like playing um, the Fisher Price drive your fire engine thing on my grandpa's computer because my grandparents were the only ones who had a computer and it was like the coolest thing ever for the longest time. Um, so I'm that old and I really love, like love, love, love using my computer and not a mobile device. <laughs> <sighs> and I'm talking like a thousand miles a minute, y'all, because I am so freaking excited to be back and not have to wait till the next day to upload this. It's not even funny. All right, so I'm getting into the holiday collection. If it'll load. So we'll just sniff while we wait. Uh, so this is the holiday three pack. Okay, it does come with the three bars that you see here. You cannot break them up. You cannot get them individually if you're placing a regular order. However, Scentsy Club, of course, is this beautiful, magical, wonderful thing where it allows you to break all the Scentsy rules um, and you can get just the bar that you want. Um, also, if you get to the 30% mark, uh, or the $30 mark, sorry, not 30% mark, you save 10% off on your entire order. Um, we do have our whiff burner, uh, <laughs> our whiff burner, our nose burner whiff box going on this month. So if you were a cinnamon fan, you can pick that bad boy up for only 15 bucks. And I think it's estimated like a $50 value or whatever, it's exclusively through club. It's pretty dang cool. So, all right, cranberry orange cider. I had to double check myself. Cranberry orange cider. We're gonna give it a sniff and then we'll see how accurate my nose bone is and we'll go from there. Um, cranberry. <laughs> right out of the gate. I'm like, oh, there's the berries. Um, you, It is, you get that, like, that cider cinnamon note. 
without being too aggressive. God, Sensi, they are adding just the right amount of cinnamon this season. It's not too aggressive. It's not burning my nostrils to death. This is delicious. This is so good. Okay, um, it is tart orange, cranberry and apple, mold with cinnamon sticks, served warm and wonderful. It is, it is 100% all those things. Of course, my nose is gravitating towards the cranberry because that's my favorite note in it. And I do get the apple. I don't know that I get the orange, but that doesn't hurt my feelings. Like I sometimes like, I feel like orange is a little overdone. <sighs> Hello, yeah. Mm -hmm. And because my club is not locked down, because they don't knock it down now early, um, I can actually throw these in uh, to my club right away, get extra of just this bar right away for my happy through my housewarming. Because uh, I'm not done with fall, okay? Don't don't get me wrong. I am 100% not done with fall just because I'm like, yay, cranberries here. Um, I am not one who likes to skip through my seasons per se. I am a very seasonal melter, sometimes occasionally a mood melter. Like I need some light and fruity to kind of pick things up after all of the strong, heavy scents, but mostly I'm very seasonal. I'm very seasonal. I'm into all of the seasonal decor, the seasonal scents, the funness of the season, but I, I come on, it's cider. It's cider, it's cranberry cider. Um, I feel like cider is good through fall. I feel like cranberry is also good through fall. So getting a couple extras of these, I don't feel like I'm I'm breaking the rules and skipping straight to Christmas. <laughs> Cause I'm not, okay? Um, all right, next one up is maple vanilla glaze. Ooh, look at the cute little maple leaves. I love it. Um, We've had a lot of maple this year. And actually, I've, I've, I've not minded it. That warm pumpkin drizzle had maple in it. The um, maple rum cake clearly had maple in it. I don't know that I love this, though. It almost... I kind of get a bourbon note. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, get, I get that deep, like, rich uh, richness. And something, I almost get like a bourbon note. What is it? Maple vanilla glaze. Do they put bourbon in like maple glaze for like donuts and cakes and Christmas cakes and stuff? I don't know. Let me see. It probably doesn't even say bourbon. Uh, delight your senses with buttered caramel and dark maple drizzled over caramelized sugar. I would think it would be sweeter. There's, there's got to be some sort of boozy note in the background of this. So you, we get three tiers. Wait, you got a top note, a mid note, and a base note. Okay, if you like maple apple bourbon, this is up your, your alley. If you liked vanilla bourbon, this is up your alley. No, there's something boozy in there. I can't, I wanna say it's bourbon. <coughs> and that's not making me cough, but like, not up my alley. Okay, and then the last one is Swirling Snowflakes. Now, I'm already anticipating this is going to be my favorite because, you know, I have a minty jam thing that I like to do, particularly in my bedroom, like, all year long. Um, so let's see how this baby matches up to, like, perfect peppermint or vanilla mint or... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um... <sighs> okay. So for those of you who had to suffer the vanilla mint heartbreak, this is really good. It's it's similar. It's not as much vanilla. You get a lot more of that like cool mint and it's not necessarily candy cane mint specific. It's just that really nice mint from fresh ice with like a vanilla background, I think. Oh, eucalyptus. I forgot about that. Okay, so delight, uh, <laughs> I was about to read maple vanilla again. Nope, mm -mm, not my bar. A flurry of sparkling peppermint dances in the fresh air with a hint of delicate eucalyptus flower. This is delightful. And this, I don't think that this is, is too overdone. Like a lot of, I mean, I know not everybody is a perfect peppermint fan where you're dancing through the candy cane forest. Um, I'm, uh, give me the candy cane forest, but this is beautiful. This is very, very nicely done. It's not super strong. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of like a light to a medium performer. 
But for those of you who like a really good coolness and like that festive, like fresh air, like, you know, you know how when it, it first snows and you walk outside or the temperature first like really drops and you walk outside and you can smell the cold? That's the son of our. You just smell the cold. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So clearly we already know what my two are. And I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at knowing where my nose is going to lead me. Um, so of course, I, in, in the matching fragrance flowers, I got two of the swirling snowflakes <laughs> and one of the cranberry one because I wasn't sure. Okay, I had I had a hunch or I had an idea because you know we haven't been doing that super aggressive cinnamon. I'm like I'm probably kind of okay here. I'm gonna pick up a cranberry flower. I'm glad that I listened to my intuition. Um, I'm glad that I pay attention to what Sunsea is doing with their theme for the season, right? Go ahead and we can have cinnamon, but it's not gonna like, it's not gonna fry your nose. Um, so fantastic. And to get, like I said, two of the, the swirling uh, snowflakes. Okay. So those are the three brand new holiday scents that came out. I did also, of course, come on, I got them in a pod because, you know, I have to try all the things. Oh, look, I got two of those really snowflakes. So I did a six pack. Um, I never not do a six pack because seriously, if I'm going to be buying uh, pods or bars or car bars or anything, like I'm not leaving a free one on the table. That's not happening. So let's see how these guys stack up compared to... Um, how they smell in the bars, and then I threw in two extras here. All right, let's just get this guy out of the way. The maple vanilla glaze. Let's see if that bourbon note comes through to me. Ooh. Yep. Oh, boy, it's stronger in the pods. That was like an aggressive smack in the face. Oh, no, there's bourbon. There's 100% bourbon in this. I know it doesn't say it, but that's all I get. I get like maple, maple bourbon. No, thank you. Without the apple. It's like a sweet maple bourbon. Oh, it's horrid. Okay. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll refresh my nose here with these swirling snowflakes. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Um, thank you. Mint, mint will clear your scent palette. And it will also go great, super, super great in my uh, air purifier next to my bed. Mm, this is good. Super good. See, I already knew. I was like, these will go great in my air purifier because I want to sleep to dancing sugar plums in my head or whatever. I don't know. Uh, and then the cranberry orange cider. So let's see. Ooh, as I like almost jab my lip. I like this. I like this a whole lot. You get a lot of that really, really nice tart cranberry. <sighs> it's perfect. It is a perfect, like, fall cranberry scent. Very good. And not, not specifically bakery. That's the nice part. So it, it will go good through throughout the whole house. And I love, I love it when we get something like that. The other two pods that I picked up were Caramel Apple Craze. Um, like I said, we're still in fall. Right? I'm still all about the fall. And Caramel Apple Craze has got, like, a really, really nice Mac apple to it. And in the pods, the caramel is a little toned down, okay? So this is more Mac Apple forward with just that little hint of caramel in the background. In the wax bar, it is it is all of the above. You get all of the caramel, all of the apple, all of the yummy goodness. <sighs> but I do love it in a pod, and I don't mind my car smelling like Mac Apple. So um, my Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin, one that I've been using is really, really good, but it's about to be done for soon enough right where hmm, this is next next i need my my car to smell like a caramel apple and then last last of the pods um is very snowy spruce so i'm starting to i need to stockpile i need to stockpile for christmas because what i will do with the artificial tree right is i will put a wall fan diffuser behind my tree and then i will put the pods in there behind the tree so that at least when i walk by my christmas tree I smell pine and can mentally trick myself into thinking I have a real one. Not, but I will I will need a few of these to go through the holiday season, truthfully, because I will I leave it running 
24 seven, giving me all the pine all the time. Okay, so those are my pots. Um, let's see, what do we do next? Um, I don't think any of these are necessarily mine. So I had a couple of girlfriends, um, obviously hop in with me on this order. And it looks like we've got some of the same bars. So swirling snow pigs, maple vanilla. Where's the other guy? The cranberry. Did I get shorted a cranberry? That's weird. I might have to call Sensi about that. Because I see... I see the... Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> That's my super self. Um, I've got the other bar and another stack. Um, and it looks like I do have two sets of these. Cranberry orange cider, maybe even another glaze. Put those aside, drop those off to my local friends. All right, so the other bars that are in this stack, and I'm gonna have to check people's stuff because I don't remember who belongs to what or what belongs to who. Uh, we have a bar of white amber antique. White amber antique is beautiful. It is beautiful. If you are familiar with Bath and Body Works, um, amber and teak wood or, or mahogany, mahogany teak wood. That's what it is. It's been a really long time since I melted anything from them. Um, or had a candle from them like years, like almost 10 years. Um, mahogany and teak wood dead on. It's this gorgeous kind of slightly like woodsy scent, cologne scent. Oh, it's beautiful. Love that. Um, uh, I know by the sea is not mine. I am not in the season for by the sea. Truthfully, this is a really beautiful bright clean aquatic it is super strong and it's knock your socks off it will fill your entire house you don't need a whole lot of this guy to fill everything but it is really really good if you are after something very clean which i like fall so <laughs> clean is not my melting point um warm pumpkin drizzle we all know we all know how we feel about this bar this month, you guys. You have proven it time and time again how we feel about warm pumpkin drizzle, okay? Um, and if you are not um, in a club, okay? If you're not in a club, uh, oh, come on, where did I put it? If Okay, so if your club did not run last month, okay, and you don't have a club, it means you're not getting a swag bag from me, and I promise you, I promise you, you want a swag bag from me because they're a whole lot of fun. Um, and then you can get things like not maple bourbon vanilla glaze and you can just get swirling snowflakes. <laughs> but I sent out this mix with warm pumpkin drizzle. I actually sent out two, but I saved one of these little um, things for me. So it's it, this, I, this is a mix I am lovingly calling hazelnut pumpkin muffin. And it is the warm pumpkin drizzle and hug it a mug. Holy, holy Moses. This is, this is like a chocolate pumpkin vanilla cookie mix that like it is all the yummy goodness of, of everything that I want to eat in my kitchen during fall time. It's so good. It is so stinking good. Um, I, I love this. I love this. Okay. So again, hazelnut pumpkin muffin is this warm pumpkin drizzle and hug and a mug combined. This is below your mind bakery beauty. It's so good. Okay, sorry. I'll move on. I got really excited about myself, but club, club, I'm telling you, I do some really fun things. Um, <laughs> you want it. I promise. Um, and then we've got Autumn Road Trip. Okay, Autumn Road Trip is one of my fall favorites. I don't even know if it's mine. <laughs> if it's not, it's, it's one of my girlfriends. So, um, <laughs> I don't even remember what I order you guys. I don't, I don't. Like, I know I'm like, ooh, I've got some new stuff coming. But in terms of like the little things when I'm gathering up rewards or turning in rewards, I I don't remember what I was feeling in the moment. But this is so good. This is your bright, beautiful apple. You've got a little teeny tiny hint of silver oak in the background. And there is none of that aggressive nose burning cinnamon. Uh, this is actually what I'm using in clean right now because that was our clean bundle last year. I may or may not have um, hoarded significantly um, huge amounts of on a road trip for myself. Just... Uh, okay, this one I know is not mine. Salted caramel toffee uh, because I have toffee butter crunch in my club, which is my preference. Um, hang on one second. Let me respond to my sister over here. 
Yay! Oh, I don't have to go get the girls. Um, Uncle Kyle wants to go get the girls. We talked about it this morning. She's like, I don't know if we can or blah, 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 blah. Uh, update, 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 update. Oh, let's go with, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Sweet, you guys. I haven't had a day off in like three weeks. Um, <laughs> I got a nap today. Christmas came. My children are going getting picked up by their auntie. It's it's good. So I should probably use that time to get some laundry done because I slacked on that this morning and took a nap. Um, okay, so salted caramel toffee. This was one of our holiday bricks two years ago. It's good. I mean, it, this is an aggressive performer. I will tell you this. This is a powerhouse. This has all of that caramel sweetness to it. And it's got like all that sea salt note to it as well. It comes forward really strong room filling, house filling. It is not my personal preference on the caramel, but that's the beauty of Sensi Club because I get my toffee butter crunch. But if you are jonesing for a good like toffee candy scent, this one is really good. And you can mix it with other things, right? So like you could technically mix um, Autumn Road Trip and salted caramel toffee and get a whole new experience out of both of them. So let's see, like a caramel apple candy kind of thing. Let's see. See, I could get behind this. Because um, caramel apple craze, right, is, is essentially a caramel apple, but it doesn't have that, like, sea salt note in it that this one does. I might now have to try this. <laughs> so you can mix uh, the salted caramel toffee with other things. Um, we have a bar of Cozy Cardigan. And this one, this one is super soft. It's very feminine. It's very fluffy it's just very body care -esque. It's very romantic. It's, you know, it's, it's a good one. That's a good one. It's like the feminine version of Bath and Body Works sweater weather. If, if that's, that's the best way I can think to describe it. Because I do like sweater weather. And, um, I did cave in my body mist in that. <laughs> we went to the mall the other day. Very snowy spruce. This is probably mine. Because I love me some kind. Um, I won't melt it till till we get closer, closer, but like I need to be prepared because the minute, the minute that clock rolls over, I'm all like, it's fine everything. <laughs> so I need to make sure I've got it for when, when that clock chimes. Um, Scarlet Sunflower. I know this one is not mine. I do like this one. I do like this one, but I like my scents to smack me in the face. And Scarlet Sunflower is this beautiful, subtle fall floral with a twist of that tartness from cranberry but it is not a super strong performer so like I this does well in smaller spaces or it does well if you are sensitive to like the really strong scents scarlet sunflower is a really nice light um like undertone I however am not sensitive to strong scents so this this is beautiful. It is lovely. I absolutely love the way this smells. I like it in other things. So like I like it in the room sprayer, I like it in the scent circle, um, things that I can get it to be stronger in, but it's very pretty. <coughs> Same deal for eucalyptus wreath. Okay. Eucalyptus wreath. This one is also not mine. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I love the eucalyptus in this. I love, what is in eucalyptus wreath? I don't even remember. I know, all I can remember is eucalyptus. And let's see, let's see. Let me find you. Come here. You guys are like, what is going on? She actually is looking stuff up instead of just rolling with it. Because that's not the way that I actually roll. All right. Search. Thank you. Okay, so eucalyptus wreath has juniper, eucalyptus and frosted mint it's very pretty it's not strong enough for me that's not strong i mean i want my eucalyptus to be just breathe i want to be like i am a huff and vix and i'm mad that they took it away for the season but i have it in my club so i can continue to huff my vix eucalyptus that just doesn't it's beautiful it is beautiful it's just not strong enough for me and blackberry spice the very surprise 
bar that I thought I was really not going to like. It gives me kind of a slightly like dancing sugar plums and crimson berry Christmas had a baby kind of thing. <sighs> surprise, surprise. I actually really enjoy this. It is, the, the spice is perfectly balanced and blended where it's not super duper aggressive. So, okay. So those are all the sniffies for the bars. Um, I got a couple of doubles of things, so I'm only going to show you one because when I pull it up, you're going to see why I got a double of something, right? Because you know my gals. You know my gals. So we have a brand new, oh, that's the back of the box and it's so underwhelming. Let me try that again. We have a brand new buddy <laughs> coming, uh, or not coming, a brand new buddy here and her name is River the Reindeer, okay? Um, now, I, of course, of course, will be running our Adopt a Reindeer special this year, uh, but I feel like I need to, it's October. It's October. I'm not ready. You're not ready. But I wanted to get this beautiful girl in because, of course, I need to be able to, one, check her out. Make sure she passes my test. And two, I've got to build a reindeer bundle. So she will come with when when, when the time is, is, is near. So probably get ready for, like, November, okay, for your Adopt-A-Reindeer opportunity. Um, she will come with a birth certificate. She will also come with some magic reindeer food that your children can sprinkle all along the lawn to help guide Santa and the reindeer to your house, okay? Um, you know, I gotta do it up cute, right? And of course, there's gotta be some sort of Christmas treat in there. I'm thinking Christmas cookies. <laughs> I'm thinking I need to find like Santa Claus cookies. That's why another part of why I'm like, well, let's wait a little bit so that that holiday stuff starts coming out because what kid doesn't need a giant sugar cookie to kick off Christmas, right? All right. But in the meantime, let's take a peek at River. And because I also know, and you also know, Haley has to have all the buddies and I can't get one kid a buddy and not the other. So look at her. <laughs> She's so cute. That's River. And look, she's got these little shiny, shiny gold horns. I think they were probably still feeling a little glamorous from the Glamorous View collection, which is still available, by the way. It is the one uh, unicorn Nuggy does not have. And I, well, that became available that she does not have. I did not get her dazzle. I don't know why. But outside of Spiffy the Sloth, truthfully, like the glam collection was not up my alley. But but I she she should have been part of the she's a glamorous reindeer. <laughs> I love her little I love her little horns, her little gold sparkle horns. She just looks so festive with the gold horns. And then of course she's got a little little jacket that's super soft and underneath here. Um, these are honestly, these are a fantastic collection for sensory kids, or she's fantastic if you've got a sensory kid like I do. Um, that is one of the other things that I really like about her buddies. There's so many things and textures to touch and feel. And like, so this is like super, super silky soft. And then you've got the satin under underneath so they, they, the kids can rub this and then they'll, the horns are a different texture. Her ears are a different texture. She's got her corduroy on her arms. You know, the paws of her feet are all a different texture. So these are fantastic for sensory kids. In addition to that, fragrance is really important to sensory kids. And because she's one of our buddies, okay, you can put her scent pack in the back here. So when they are, you know, snuggling their, their friend at night, not only can they pet the texture on her that they like the most, you know, the soft texture or the satin texture or the corduroy or whatever, they also get the fragrance experience from it. So it like lights up all their senses. Because I'm sure you guys have seen like our, our Sensi Buddy collection and been like, God, the kid, they don't need another buddy. And really technically they don't. But they come with so many different textures sometimes that, you know, this is part of the reason like, I don't know which buddy they're going to pick at night, right? It depends on how they're feeling of which friend they're going to want to sleep with. So, and I did get her very merry cranberry <coughs> because it's Christmas and it's red and 
which is so cute. You can get any set pack you want, whether honestly you get to choose, but I thought Very Merry Cranberry uh, was just like literally the perfect one to go with River the Reindeer. Uh, and it matches her little bow. And we like cranberry in this house. So like even, even the girls like the cranberry scents. So I know that they're not going to be the least bit sad that, that River is scented in Very Merry Cranberry because they do like it. All right, let me close this box up. Ta -da, ta -da. That. All right, so that is River the Reindeer. And this is going way longer than I thought. See, this is what happens when I don't go live for a very long time. And then I also got the Mija Hedgehog. But I told you guys I was going to get him a hedgehog because um, they stole my bitty buddies. So really, I'm getting it for them because they stole my hobby. <laughs> oh my God, he's so much cuter in person. Okay, so on, the, on his picture, he looks fugly. I'm sorry, he looks fugly. But look at him. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> I just can't. And he's soft and he's squishy like a stress ball. <laughs> I'm putting it in their stocking, but he's for me. Because <laughs> he's so soft. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for him. <laughs> Don't judge. Don't judge me. I have my old buddy collection. <laughs> and you're going to see that in a minute. You are going to see that in a minute. <laughs> One more thing, and then we'll get on to the grand finale. And I will stop amusing myself. Um, the holiday oils. Guys, I'm super crazy about that. Hold on a second here. Let me just tilt that up. I got so excited. I've got a front zipper thing on my um, sports thing that I'm wearing today. And all of a sudden, like, I'm excited. And then I just feel like, I'm it's like oh, that could be bad. Like, sorry. I'm candid. I'm always candid. Um, okay, so the Holiday Oil 3-pack. We do have three different fragrances in here. These are our five milliliter bottles. I love our Holiday Oils. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll show you the diffuser shade that I got, okay, to go with these guys, but. All right, so first snowfall. Um, Frosty Air, Eucalyptus, and Cedarwood. I am super, super excited for this oil. I bought two just for this oil um, because my diffuser, well, I've got diffusers all over the dang house, let's be honest, but my favorite one, the Deluxe, that runs for over 24 hours, is literally next to my head while I sleep. And this, I need this in a big bottle. This is so good. Um, you get that frosty air, you get the eucalyptus, you get the cedar wood. This is the bomb oil. <sighs> yes, I love our oils. I really like wish that we could vote on the holiday oils and, and do like a special thing where, you know, because they're limited and they don't come to the catalog. These never come to catalog. Sometimes like if you pick out a bar and like say, not this bar, um, it's super popular and it ends up in a bunch of clubs, right? They'll bring it to the catalog the next season. I've never seen that happen with an oil. I want an opportunity to vote for my favorite oils and have them come in 15 milliliter bottles. I do. So, <sighs> Very good. Um, frosted fir balsam. I'm already here for it. I'm already here for it. Frosted fir <sighs> pine. Um, okay, so fir balsam, rosewood, and dusted with peppermint. Ooh. That was wall over my nose. Um, well, I'm gonna smell like a Christmas tree for the rest of today. So this one is, this one is good. I'm not sure that I'm 100% keen on the rosewood note, but it will be, when I'm diffusing it, it will obviously be diluted. They're not as strong, well, 99% of the time, they're not as strong as um, wax. Although I will say that citrus and sage fills a room by itself. It actually, it, so it was cold this weekend, right? When I went out to the stroll. And I knew that my wax isn't going to melt in that type of temperature. Not well, not well. So I brought one of my diffusers with me and put citrus and sage in there. Like as soon as you started walking towards my booth, you could hear people being like, God, something smells really good. So if you want a strong oil, citrus and sage is your friend. Um, and then the last one is sweets for Santa. Holiday baking fills the air with cinnamon, lemon, 
vanilla and hints of caramel. I'm not, I have no idea how cinnamon and lemon go together. I don't, let's see. This is terrible. <laughs> Sorry, it's so bad. Um, I'm gonna have to mix this with something. I, I keep marshmallow buttercream um, oil on hand for for mixing purposes. Um, <coughs> I don't even know where to begin to describe it. It's bad. It's way bad. I knew it was going to be bad. The minute I saw cinnamon and lemon, I was like, that one is terrible. I know it's terrible. I was already prepared for it. But this, this first snowfall, oh, thank you. Thank you. Woodsy, minty, I'm all in. Sweets for Santa. You, you need a little extra sweet. Uh, that'll be getting some marshmallow buttercream. Um, fixing this. Okay. You know who I am. Right? You know who I am. You know my true love is Halloween. And now Sensi has brought Halloween to Christmas. This is Jack's obsession. Okay. We got a free bar free bar and saved over $50 when you bought the all-in-one bundle. Jack's Obsession is kind of like an apple cinnamon fragrance. I, it's not Christmassy, it's really not. It's more fall. Um, but it's a twist on standard apple and cinnamon sticks because they use a sour green apple. And it's actually one that I can tolerate. It's not my favorite. But every now and again, I do get a hankering for Jack's Obsession. And it's just nice to have one um, when I want it. But, okay, we'll do the buddy first because it's on top. Okay. Look. Okay, I just got to show you. Okay, I'm looking at this. All of the packaging to this entire collection, like, it's a set, you guys. You can't not get the set. It's a set. You need the set. Um, it all matches. <laughs> like, you can't. <laughs> My happy nerdy heart. Let me just tell you, happy nerdy heart. Okay, so Santa Jack, and this is mine. I'm gonna have to hide him from the children, because uh, straight up, I have I have passed the love of of Jack Skellington down to my kids, and you got zero, and you got Santa Jack on there, um, and now they all want the the Nightmare Before Christmas things. So maybe it wasn't the best idea to pass my passion to my children, because now they're thieves, but. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> okay. This, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's so creepy. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, he's going to be in there. And I'm like, oh, he looks like a mummy. <laughs> All right. Let's take the paper off of him. Um, let's reveal the jack together. I guess they were trying to make it sort of Halloween-esque where you get surprised uh, when you open the box. No, really, I'm sure they were just wrapping up his beer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Santa Jack, buddy. Hello. I love him so much. So his beard is that super soft um, kind of material. And I love that they do him, obviously do do him just like he's in the movie where it's hanging off of him because he doesn't really have like a, a chin to hold it to. So it's just kind of dangling there. And he's got his little Santa suit. <laughs> yeah, and his little hat. He's got the little snowball on the back. Um, and then obviously you'll lift up his jacket here um, for his scent pack to go inside. So it does go sideways on this guy. And he did come with a signature scent pack. He came with his Jack's Obsession. You can put any scent pack in there that you want, but the uh, Jack's Obsession pack comes with it for free. So I love, I love me some Jack. I love me some Jack. <laughs> My kids are going to be super jealous. <laughs> No, it's mine. It's mommy's. Um, okay, so Santa Jack. Santa Jack. Um, and then, of course, again, the warmer. If, if we come out with anything Nightmare Before Christmas, I need it. Um, it comes with a bow on top, like a spiderweb bow. And I'm betting it's my girlfriend asking if, if I want her to pick up Nuggie. But um, 
trying to get through those and not get cut off. So how horrible our Christmas will be. So you got the mayor on there. They spare no details. They really spare no details. And a lot of people were super complaining about his face. I don't care. I don't care. Um, it's Jack. Okay, it's Jack, it's New Jack. Um, what I do love is like this entire collection all has this like wrought iron um, embellishment for it. And they kept true to this. And, whoop. <laughs> oh, whew. that could have been bad. So the bulb in there is like this. Sorry, it's, I've now lost my train of thought. Um, <clears throat> let me hold on it is it's my girlfriend texting to see if I want her to get my munchkin because our girls go to school together um, do 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 okay I just let her know that my brother-in-law's getting her Okay, so here's the warmer. <laughs> I know, they don't like his face. It's okay to not like his face. And he's got little pumpkin guys hanging out and garland in the back. You've got Oogie's boys. Um, and then over here, you got the mayor and the creepy like doll and he's using the, the, the megaphone to, <laughs> to call people like that. Zero kind of acting like a little hood ornament <laughs> over here. He's really fun. <laughs> Um, and then this goes on the back of it. I'm not going to put it on because again, I'm not setting stuff out for Christmas just yet. So I will be boxing this guy back up once I'm done with it. But it is what we call a lampshade warmer, which you don't see this very often, especially not in my house, um, with the lampshade. <clears throat> so it comes with a base like this. Okay. So it's almost kind of like our tabletop base, but not quite. Same overall idea though. But you put the bulb on the lampshade. Let me do this. And it is a 20 watt bulb. So it is it is a light up, it is a bulb one. Um, I know a lot of the time some of our um, licensed warmers are like an element warmer, but he is not, okay? So this is, the dish is built in, but it, it's a regular warmer. So what you'll do is you'll put this guy on top of the lampshade, okay? And I actually have to set this down because I gotta light it up. There's a little notch for your cord back there. So I'll just twist him. And I drop my extension cord. Uh, and let's light it up. So this comes, it's not quite like an overwhelming glow out of it, but you get the glow out of the windows. You Zero does light up a bit. Um, it's hard to tell because the sun's streaming in the windows. The little headlights, you can see light up on the car. So it's it's a really, it's, it's a very, very nice piece. It's not super glowy. So like this is even one because it glows so little that I could technically you know withstand putting in my bedroom if I wanted to um I won't because I wouldn't tuck them away and hide them there but oh it looks like we have okay so there's a couple of these guys here oh it goes on the side it goes on the side here so the the railings for that um but yeah he's he's super cute I know he's not everybody's favorite I'm okay with that uh, I know I, I'm a diehard fan. I'm a diehard fan. Like, I like to see the whimsical side of Jack. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Because he does get excited while he's in Christmas Town. So, for us to feature his joy with Christmas, um, that one doesn't bother me. I think it's great. Okay. So, let me set this to the side. Oh. Okay, technically, we have two more things. Uh, we have the Santa Jack Mini, which is awesome. Santa Jack Mini. Same box style, same detail, same yay kind of stuff. And he does come with a black, okay, a black base for the wall. 
and he is a night light warmer. And if you're hanging with me this long, thank you. Uh, apparently you have missed me uh, being out of jail as much as I have. <laughs> or maybe it's all different people. So um, this is, ooh, I didn't even look at that. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Again, they all come with like these little, like this matte black iron piece. That you can kind of see. Really cool. All of the, the toys, like the jack lantern and the biting duck. This is the vampire teddy bear. Um, and then who knows what's in the other boxes, right? <coughs> oh, baby. Look at him! I can't. I'm sorry. I love his little Santa pack. I do. And then you put his the toys that he's carrying in his pack. You gotta stretch it a little bit. Um, just a smidge. You put the toy, I can't win today. The toys he's carrying in his pack in the back and he'll shine light out through there. So, okay, people are calling me left and right. We'll do the diffuser shade <laughs> later, but I'm gonna catch you guys later. Bye-bye.